Hey, how's it going? We got a question that I thought to quickly address in a video rather than type out the whole answer by Nick Reed. Great thumbnail, by the way. I too happen to like the Doom game as the channel name suggests. It's a couple of questions. The first one is, is it possible to add markers, regions, change time signatures, t change tempos, save the project, etc., without having to close the MIDI editor every time? Also, is it at all possible to dock the MIDI editor and embed it over the transport window and be able to alternate between transport and MIDI editing by just clicking the tab? I guess it's an important detail to mention that Nick spends most of his time in the MIDI editor. So he has it maximized on his screen usually. Yep, so I got a few ideas, so let's quickly look at those. So first of all, let's get to this question. I've covered this in another video, which I'll link up there as well. Basically, here's how you do that. So let's say I want to add a time signature marker here. Uh, so what I can do is go to my actions list, and normally I add tempo markers with shift and C, which doesn't bring up a menu, but shift control and C is what normally is assigned to shift and C. So if I hit shift control and C, you will see this menu and you can set a time signature marker, change the tempo, time signature, all of that. So what I can do is highlight this action and click on add. Here, what I'm gonna do is set this scope of this action to global, and then I'll hit shift control and C and I'll hit okay. So now if I'm in the MIDI editor, Say I'm in the MIDI editor and it's fully maximized. I can put my cursor here, hit the same thing, go somewhere else, maybe change the time signature to 5-4, and there it is. It puts it there. So this is all fine, but say I need to now move this time signature. So I can't really do that. I got to go back and move it from here. Another important option to know about when you're in the MIDI editor, go to options and make sure sync editor transport to project transport is enabled. So once you have that enabled, wherever I go on my MIDI editor, the arrange view goes there and vice versa is also true. So if I go and set all the hotkeys that I want to run from the MIDI editor, if I go and set their scopes to global, then I can come here, put a time signature. Whoa, don't do that. Um, and I'm off to the races. So that works fine. Now to get to the second part of uh, your question, is it possible to dock the MIDI editor and embed it over the transport window and be able to alternate between transport and MIDI editing just by clicking the tab? Kinda, let me show you what I usually do. So here I got a project that's fully in MIDI. It's just a orchestral kind of uh, mock-up. Um, so I have a couple of screen sets to deal with this. So regularly I'm in this screen set in my arrange view. And if you hit command and E, you will see this window where you can save screen sets, and then you can recall them using these load keys. So for example, if I'm working with MIDI and working with video, I have this screen set. So let me load it. This is what it looks like. So on the bottom, we have a little bit of my ruler just so I can do some of the stuff that I do over there. And I can also see my tracks. I can move my faders, all that stuff. But a majority of my screen real estate is dedicated to MIDI editing. And I don't need to select other tracks from here either. I have the track list right here. So right now I'm seeing my second horn. And if I want to switch to my oboe, there's my oboe. And if I want to switch to my timpani, there's my timpani. And I've explained this before as well. So again, another video that will go up there and will go in the description. So I can navigate through my tracks from here. If I need to, if I'm working on my violins and I need to see my second violins and my violas and my cellos, I can do it like that. And if I need to switch to them, I'll just switch to them like that. So that works. And if I need to just see my celli, for example, I'll just hold option and click on the eye. And this is my celli. So I do most of my navigating here. My video window is tucked in this corner. So um, usually I'm doing scores to films and stuff. I just see it from here, a little version of it. And I do my editing here. This seems to work fine. And still, if I need to say, insert a time signature, if I need to move a time signature marker, I can just do it from here. And if I want to insert, well, now we have a way of doing that uh, by setting the global scope hotkey. And my transport bar is up here. So if I need any transport related operations, I can do it from here. Or really I have hotkeys for all of those. Play and stop is by space. This is by R. This is by option and R for me and so on and so forth. These two are um, these brackets next to your P to go to the next marker or the beginning of next region, etc. And um, yeah, it does the job. If you want, you can move your transport. So right click on your transport bar and the default is below a range, which puts it there when this is up there. You can also put it above ruler. So that way it's kind of in the middle. So that works. And the second screen set that I sh will show you is MIDI full screen. So let me load that. And that one looks like this. I got the transport bar here. I just have a very small amount of my uh, ruler showing. 
And again, most of the screen is dedicated to this. You get a little bit of your transport bar just so you can click quickly and do whatever you need to do over there. But you do most of your operations over here and the screen is big enough in my book. And after that, you just memorize or you can set these load and save keys for yourself. Normally there are save hotkeys and load hotkeys. I just have load hotkeys. So for example, I can hit shift and F7 and I'll be in this screen set. Then whenever I want, I hit shift control and F8 and I'll get to my MIDI full screen. And yeah, shift control and F9 takes me to this mode. Make screen sets, do, do what you need to do, make it full screen and whatnot. And then set a couple of these hotkeys, which you can do by clicking on edit shortcuts. It opens your actions list and um, set these hotkeys to something easy. And as you can see, my uh, scope again is set to global and these. So if I'm in the MIDI editor, I can still just hit shift F7, be back in this window. And yeah, just switch between your uh, screen sets. It's pretty, pretty easy. But yeah, that's it. I hope this was useful. Uh, I'm not going to do much editing on this. So hopefully that was coherent. And if you had any um, follow up questions, please make sure to ask and check the videos in the description if I went over some stuff a bit too quickly, because I've covered a lot of these in the past. But your question was like a mix of a bunch of things. So I thought to quickly show you and I hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, you know, tell your friends to ask questions here and subscribe if you like this type of quick, terribly edited videos that are very specifically tailored to your question. See you later. Bye.